Hey there, I'm Myrna Loy of Black Bright News and I I just want to say good morning, good afternoon, good night, depending on which part of the world you are listening in from or watching this video from. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I went to see the, pre, the premiere of Yardi. And for those of you who do not know, Yardi is a term that they used when Jamaicans came to the UK, maybe about the 80s, 90s. They were, they were called Yardies because they were supposed to be a gang of criminals. I don't know how they developed that reputation, but I do know they used to smoke drugs and deal drugs. But being, you know, out and out criminals, killing around people, I don't recall any of that anyway. They say that this is what um, the Yardies in the UK were like. Um, Yardi, from a Jamaican perspective, is just a fellow Jamaican. It's got no negative connotations at all. Now, Idris Elba, he directed this movie based on a book written by the same name from Victor, by Victor Headley. Now, Victor Headley is a Jamaican. Idris Elba is from Sierra Leone. He's an African. He's not a Jamaican. And I'd like to, I wonder if that film had actually been directed by a Jamaican, whether it might have had a different impact. Now, my um, beef with the movie, I mean, everybody that I've spoken to, they think it's bloody brilliant. It looks like everybody's immune to violence, everybody's immune to hate, everybody's immune to the dark side. The black man used to be quite a spiritual person. They had a conscience. And every time they went to do something wrong, they would think of God first. I don't know what's happened. It's like they're the walking dead. They don't have a soul. And this is how they're depicted in, in this movie just shooting randomly with no conscience whatsoever. And it starts off with a young boy seeing his mentor shot. And from that moment, as he grows up, he's just getting vengeance on anybody who steps in his way, turns into a drug dealer, you know, perpetuating all the negative stereotypes. There was no positive stereotype in that. You know what? You know how many Jamaicans are in Jamaica who own houses, who have businesses, who are doing well, who run schools? You know, what happened to those? What happened to reflecting a balance in the movie? But that's what that's what they say sells. They say negativity against black cells. So Idris Elba, in order to make a name for himself, has to depict us as Jamaicans in that light. To be honest, I couldn't watch it. I, I started with my, you know, as soon as they started doing the shooting, I said, OK, I'll just hold my head down in my lap and wait for the. That, that sound where somebody's being beaten up, you know, that, you know, they really emphasise that sound. And I was trying to wait for it to stop. And would it stop? It was incessant. You know, it was absolutely incessant. And you could tell, I could hear people go, oh, you know, you could tell whatever beating that guy got was really, really severe. I don't know what they beat him with or whatever. But it must have gone on for about 20 seconds. So it's not just one lick and they're done, you know. It's just on and on and on. People sitting there watching it, totally immune to the violence. That's what's happened. The souls of people are hardened. They see violence and they don't even recognise it. I ended up leaving that movie and I said to my daughter, look, you know, I can't watch it. I'm going to go into another movie. So I went into another movie. What do I see? Somebody giving head, somebody giving somebody else a back shot. And I'm thinking to myself, what is going on? Why isn't there anything more conscious being shown? You know, from one to the other, I was like in a dilemma. You know, what can I watch? 
you know, in the end, I ended up in one movie where a little girl was kicking this light, this ball, and then I saw this big animal bite at the spaceship. I'm just like, I really don't know what's going on. I do know that people have really, really need to take a stock and check what's happening to them, why they have become immune. And, you know, when I said to a couple of people, I couldn't watch it. It was too violent. You know what they said? Oh, it wasn't violent. What were you watching? It wasn't violent at all. That's just a gangster movie. That's real life. It didn't even occur to them that it's violent. And that's what I'm saying. You know, it's been channeled into them and into their subconscious so often the violence has been you know drip fed over the years until even the most extreme violence doesn't phase them that's what i'm saying their soul is dead i don't even know how you can bring that around and now you know young people are watching that what are those young people what what happens in their head and then people are saying, oh, young people are doing this. I can't believe they're doing that. Then not only do you have people um, being drip fed extreme violence, you have people who are taking drugs on top of that. So that even exacerbates the violence and makes it worse. They're chopping up people, cutting out their organs, doing really, really crazy things because they're watching these videos drug drug filled i i you know i i always get exasperated honestly because you know people it's people don't even realize what's going on it's like people are just walking around with no conscience whatsoever it's like they're not even thinking they're like bloody robots all of them walking in there watching it coming out of that movie saying oh what a brilliant movie brilliant what violence what are you talking about anybody who goes to watch that movie i want you to send a response let me know if you think that movie is violent or if i'm just squeamish i'd really like to know because i don't know what direction this world is heading if they can watch somebody being shot repeatedly, watch somebody be beaten repeatedly and it doesn't phase them. And then it's accentuated by the music and everything else that goes with it. They could have made that a positive outcome. OK, the young guy saw his mentor being shot, but instead of him, um, instead of him getting vengeance his mentor was trying to create peace through music why couldn't he have taken over that legacy and created peace through music brought the two sides together why couldn't he have done that but oh no that wouldn't have made a good story so they're making this really bad drug dealer who's going around shooting everybody and goodness knows what anyway have I got anything else to say? I don't think so. I've looked at all my lows. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder. Ah, anyway, I'll leave it up to you. I'm not knocking Idris Elba because, you know, he's like so many black directors who just want to make a name for themselves. But they really need to try to be a bit more positive. Or even if they can't be positive because they can't get paid, put something in there to give it balance it doesn't all have to be negative and it was negative only at the very 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 end he's like oh you know i'm sorry or whatever he said i can't remember what he said i've been done shoot up a whole heap of people so yeah the film is yardy it's directed by idris elba and if you go and see it i'd appreciate your views that's all for now. Or if you've seen it, let me know what you think. All right then. Bye-bye.